Hey everyone, we are here again for another dot com lunch. It's a nice, what's how's the temperature right now? Sunny, five degrees, beautiful, sunny day. And I came here early, so I got a, I got my perfect parking spot right there. I'm right in front. I, the top is still down, and I can keep my eye on the car. So there's the dot com car. You know, girls go for guys with great parking spots. Oh yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, all know that. Uh, a friend told me that once. Yes. Yeah, when we, when we got prime parking space, went in front of a club. Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't pick up any girls, even though we got a great parking spot. Uh, hi, my name is Ali. I'm a new member. Uh, my website is uh, ehomes101.net. Uh, um, I'm here with John Shaw and a bunch of nice people uh, in Saturday. We just had some Vietnamese food, and nice to meet you all. Thank you. Hi, my name is Dawn Campbell, and I'm here at John Chow's Meetup Luncheon. My boyfriend is Reed Yamamoto, and he is, we're in John's club, fan club. We like John a lot. <laughs> and he, um, he has a website at reedmoto.com, R-E-I-D-M-O-T-O.com. I just tried the soup for the first time today and it was amazing. <laughs> so I'm really excited to be here and um, really nice group of people to hang out with. So come on down. This is a number 36, was it? Yes. This is my uh, Yeah, I'm, as you see, I'm not having fur today. I'm actually having pork chop, julienne pork, uh, some veggie. I got it. And, and, and a cake, and a cake. This is a, right here, yeah, it's a cake. Some shrimp, a quiche, a quiche. That's right. And you're having, what is that wrap? Is that? This one is the shrimp patty inside with the uh, Shrimp patty wrapped in a condom. Skin. No, tofu skin. Tofu skin. Yes. A deep fried condom skin. That's what no, it is. Not, I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. Yeah. That's tofu skin. You don't, you don't like eating condoms? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> okay, there you go. Tofu skin. Yes. And I think Oscar's got the same thing, right? Similar. Similar. Why, why is yours after all? Yeah. Similar. Oh, chicken. Yeah, chicken. Oh, I agree. Actually, anybody having fur dishes? And uh, Sam's not having, I don't know what Sam's doing. Shrimp and chicken? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Reese, he's having fur. Reese's having fur. Everyone, okay, that's the that's fur table. This is the rice table right here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Rice table is right here. I'm the Hispanic. And this is the uh, Mexican table right here. All by her lonesome. Hispanic. Hispanic table. Okay, Sally is playing a game. It's called Minecraft. And for the life of me, I cannot figure out what kids see in this game called Minecraft. Because the graphics is not that impressive. It looks like it came from the 1980s. And as far as I know, you just build a strange doom-like house. And that's it. I mean, the graphics is it's horrible. It's, what's the appeal of Minecraft? It's going to be if you like, if you like playing survival, there's zombies that you're supposed to kill them. Okay. Okay. So anyway, well, my son. Do you like Minecraft? I don't understand Minecraft. You don't understand Minecraft. Well, anyone here understand Minecraft? Anyone? I do. Do you understand Minecraft? Do you kid like it? My son does. Yeah, it's really weird. So proud. Yes, yeah. kids are very, very into it. Hi. Oh my God, he shows. Where's Charlie? Mary. Now you had a chance to spend like almost two hours with the legendary Joseph Sugarman. That's like thirty thousand dollars of free consulting that you. Got. You know, right. I didn't think of that. So, what did, what did she teach? What did he teach you? Tell us. Yeah, um, what I learned from him, he didn't really say much. We had a very casual conversation, and one thing I got out from him was that all he said was, "Believe in yourself." And when you believe in yourself, you are free yourself to uh, many possibilities. And I was very happy that I had a chance to speak with him, and it, it was awesome. He's a very uh, giving and very, very deep person, very kind indeed. So um, I'll be grateful and thankful. And he gave you two blue blockers. Two blue blockers, his books, and... So who hasn't started blue blocker yet? And Reed hasn't... Oh, him. We wanna, we're going to give it a shot. Okay. At least. Okay, hold on. Okay, who hasn't tried another shot? Okay, so... No, 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 I tried that. Tried, who, who, who has not tried a blue blocker? You, you have never tried a blue blocker before, right? All right, so are special? these are blue blockers. Don't, don't put them on yet. I want, we want to get your reaction as you put them on because these are the world famous blue blockers. Joseph Sugarman created this product, I don't know how long ago. 27 and years ago. 27 years ago, he created this product and he sold it for infomercial, became one of the, well, he's the infomercial guy. So 
what they do is they put the block of blue light and because the blue makes you feel sad that's why it's the blues and stuff like that so the blocking out the blue light it makes you feel happier supposedly so try it on see see let's see you actually try it on Wow. <laughs> it's nice. Everything's like brightened up. Wow. It's, it's bright up. weird because you, you're putting sunglasses on and everything seems brighter and more crisp. Look you at his face. That's, look at his face. This, this thing is incredible. Oh, wait, now she wants to try. Here you go. I mean, other than the fact that they're women's glasses. A little pocket. They, 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 they're really good. Glasses look, look, look around, see how everything looks. Now put the glasses on. Yeah. Wow. Right? It's brighter and more crisp. <laughs> what is it? Took it off. Maybe she already has blue blockers. Maybe, yeah, maybe you have them. She's used to this. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're wearing regular sunglasses compared to the blue blockers. Yeah. I do believe they block out blue. <laughs> Everybody, yeah, everybody looks a little bit redder. You know what the problem is? Yes, Here's the issue, ladies. Men are, are a lot of men are colorblind. <laughs> they wouldn't know. Yeah. But they, they cut out a lot of the blue. It's kind of neat, blue blocker. Do they still sell? They still sell them today. They still sell. They still sell. They still sell. Right? Everything's brighter and more <laughs> it's warmer for sure. Yeah, a little warmer. So a little warmer, redder, you know, your face is a little redder. Yeah. Oh, kind of cool. So I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like Elton John. Does it match my lipstick? Yeah, oh, there it is. How much did it go for? Do you have an Elton John? Blue blocker? I think they go for like 50, 60 bucks now. Wow. Anyway, uh, I think blueblocker.com, B L U blocker, right? I like my. Uh, Actually, the way you explain it, I asked him, don't why don't they call him blue blocker? And he says, because there's a blue light that actually yeah. does damage to the eyes. Yes, exactly. And he says, yeah. And he says, yeah. My, my red 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 too. And these are great. Oh, All right, Sally's. Is that feeling blue? Nicole, Lauren Vanagel or something?